She will. Tell it, Miss Carol. Wonderful. You repeat that. I, Keith, take you, Andrea. I, Keith, take you, Andrea. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. I will love you. I will love you. Cherish you. Cherish you. Assist and support you. Assist and support you. In all the labors of life. In all the labors of life. And keep myself to you only. And keep myself to you only. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. I, Andrea, take you, Keith. I, Andrea, take you, Keith. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. I will love you. I will love you. Cherish you. Cherish you. Assist and support you. Assist and support you. In all the labors of life. In all the labors of life. And keep myself to you only. And keep myself to you only. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. Keith and Andrea, what tokens do you give that you'll faithfully fulfill your marriage vows? Mm -hmm. Rings are so very beautiful, and I know many of the rings that we have have great meaning. But Keith and Andrea, the rings that you are about to exchange get their meaning and depth from what the two of you have just done. You've just committed yourself to each other as husband and wife. And as you wear these rings so proudly, they ought to remind you of some important things about your marriage. First of all, you'll notice that they're made of a pure substance, a reminder that your love for each other should always be pure. I also know that the material from which these rings were made when it was first taken from the ground, did not look like this. There were a lot of things they do to make the rings look so beautiful. I don't know exactly how your love has been polished to this point, but maybe there were some hurdles that you had to get over. But we do know that today your love has been polished to the point where you were willing to commit yourself to each other as husband and wife. So every time you look at the ring, may you remember the love that you have for each other right now. And the ring also is a complete circle. You can't tell where it ends. May it be a reminder that your love for each other should always be unending. Keith, will you place this ring on her ring finger? Repeat after me. With this ring, with this ring, I pledge my love to you. I pledge my love to you. Andrea, will you place that ring on his ring finger and repeat? With this ring, with this ring, I pledge my love to you. I pledge my love to you. May these rings always be a symbol of your unchanging love one to the other. For as much as you have consented together in marriage, and you've witnessed the same before God, your family, and your friends, and you have given and received these tokens of your vows, by the authority of the law of the state as a minister, I pronounce you husband and wife. As I do this, let me remind you of just a couple of things. First of all, Keith, I want you to know that everything you do from this moment on is going to affect Andrea. And Andrea, everything you do from this moment on is going to affect Keith. And the reason for that is you are now one. You are one in interest, one in reputation, and above all things else, one in affection. So what God has brought together, let no man break apart. Would you bow with me as we ask God to bless this marriage? We know that they have learned to love each other and they've committed themselves to marriage. We ask that you will prosper them in all that they shall undertake. We remember this circle of family and friends that are here today, but also that much larger group that is not able to be here today but still interested in this moment. We ask that when they hear of what has happened, that they too might be happy for this couple. We ask that you will help Keith to be able to be the husband that he desires to be. Give him all the wisdom and the love and the patience that is necessary. We ask that you will help Andrea to be able to be the wife that she desires to be. That she, along with Keith, will be able to make their home a loving and a happy place. A place to which the family can come and be strengthened and refreshed. And then to be able to go out and face life again. And we also ask that in the years to come, their love for each other will be even stronger than it is today. And this we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. At this time, Keith and Andrea would like to show to you visually 
what they have done emotionally in their hearts today. They came here today as two individual people, but because of the vows that they have given and received, they have become one in marriage. Behind me, you see three candles, the two outside candles. Robert, 
Okay, good. Yeah, check, full check, check, good. I don't want to get the speaker.